not only trusting that I was you know, like headed and that I was doing the right thing that I was where I was supposed to be, but also trusting myself. I will say that when I started my company, I didn't just go off immediately and quit my, you know, multiple six figure sales job. I did not do that. I worked both jobs for almost a year. It was fortunately my previous job was a, a sales job. So I had some flexibility there, but I got to tell you, I was working I mean, to the bone, I was working like, you know, 14 hour days. Uh, you know, I was just, I was so committed though. Like my drive was so strong. And so finally it just got to the point for me where I realized that I was holding myself back, that I was never really going to give this coaching business a fair shot if I was you know, working the other job as well. When I decided to leave my very successful sales job, my divorce had just gotten finalized. So now I'm really on my own. And to walk away from this, like I said, very cush job and step fully into this coaching, it was scary. It was super scary. I was terrified, but I'll never forget having a conversation with my brother. And there was two things that I walked away from that conversation one, which is one, you know, look at how far I've come. And I'm a very spiritual person. So for me, I felt like God had shown me enough to where even though he didn't show me everything, he didn't, I didn't have all the answers. He had shown me enough. I was at least 51% sure. I was at least 51% sure that this is where I was supposed to be. And so for me, that was enough. I trusted that he had shown me enough and created a path light enough for me that this is where I was supposed to go. But the other part of it is that my brother said to me, Amber, you can always go back. You can always go back and get another job. You know how to make money. You can always go back. And I thought, okay, I'm scared as heck. So I think number one, it was trusting myself. Yes. The mindset changes. I think trusting myself, you know, looking at the evidence in order to not sometimes taking a leap of faith, not just that a leap of faith, but it's also just looking at the evidence to relieve the fear, right? Like what's the evidence that I've been successful. And I would say another piece of it too. And this is something that I really suffered from a lot in the beginning, which I think a lot of new entrepreneurs suffer from. But even, you know, it's so funny, this even came up for me today, even this morning I was thinking about it, but it's the whole imposter syndrome. When you're, that was something for me that I really had to let go because in the beginning, when you're really trying to make a name, and I'm still trying to make a name for myself, right? I'm still trying to, you know, in my, in this online space, that's very competitive, you know, when you are trying to really get across to the world that you are an expert in your field, it's very normal to like second guess everything that you say. It's very normal to, you know, fear that, uh, you know, look at, you know, people who are ahead of you, other entrepreneurs, other people in your space, in your niche, and feel less than and feel like, again, that imposter syndrome come up. And so I think for me, those are the two, you know, biggest things were, um, just like learning to trust myself and also really working through imposter syndrome.